Roscoe Bodine's first canoe trip with Daddy, aka Whiskey. What you doing, Roscoe? Your first little canoe trip, huh, buddy? Is this your first canoe trip, buddy? Oh, buddy, oh, buddy. Oh, it's a good boy. It's a good boy. Huh. Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiskey's Adventures. How's everybody doing? Doing good, doing good. So, Roscoe's first uh, canoe trip. I ain't gonna lie, when we first left Doc, he was whining a little bit. He kind of leaned over the side of the boat and almost took a dive into the water. And then after that, he just kind of laid in the center and just kind of laid there and watched where we were going. So, so far he's doing good. Um, it's not a long canoe trip. I just went to the closest island that... uh from the drop-off location that would limit the time in the boat with him. It's kind of breaking him into it. Next season, there'll be hardcore canoeing with him. But you got to kind of break him in, right? Because he's he is a pup still. Um, but he's doing good so far. I gave him some water. All these claps of water dishes. And he drank it and then tried to run off with his dish. So I'll give him a little bit more water here in a minute. Um, so where I'm at, I'm in the Great Falls area. I'm on Bowden Island, camping on this island again. Um, past videos, I've camped on this island, but I've camped on the other side of the island, which, for a reminder for anybody that follows the channel, is the campsite that had the tire on it. Um, I'm on the same island, just on the uh, other end of it that's closer to the boat ramp, which is directly behind me. About, I'd say, maybe a mile, mile and a half row, give or take. I'm not quite, don't quote me on that, but this is a rough estimate. Um, his first canoe trip, I just figured I'd go to the closest place get him used to it like i said so that's what we're doing um i was actually going to go back to that tire place to be honest with everybody then i seen this as i was coming up on the island i figured I'd stop jump up here and see if it'd work and it does and it's a new location pretty much i've never camped in this spot so i figured you know what we're just going to stop here let him get out of the boat run around get a drink of water i checked it out it's kind of hilly but i do have a flat section that's over here off to the side of the camera here that y'all can't see at the moment but it's directly in the sun. So I'm holding off on setting up camp. I got about another hour and that sun should shift enough uh, west where I'll be in all shade here. And then the campsite that I was going to go to should be nothing but sunshine at that point the rest of the day. So this is probably a better shot so we can stay out of the direct sun all day and not sweat. Daytime temperatures are still getting in the 90 degree uh, Fahrenheit. and But the evening temperatures were getting back down into the 60s. So it's getting kind of cool in the evenings again where it's not so hateful and you don't sweat in your tent or hammock which is awesome um i got plenty of wood laying around here that i could cut up and burn but i did bring my twig stove and brought some uh, little small wood crates because i was just going to use a twig stove tonight um but i might actually have a full-fledged fire now to see how much wood i have up here 
either way, we're going to set up camp once the sun shifts. I'm going to sit here and enjoy the dew. Once I get this dew done, I'm going to give him a little bit more water and then probably feed him. Um, I did bring him a little treat tonight, though. I brought him a sweet potato. We're going to give him some sweet potato. We're going to chop it up, bowl it up, make it soft, smash it up, add it to his dog food, and give him a little treat. He's never had it. Done some research, and sweet potatoes are supposedly good for dogs in moderation as long as you don't overdo it. I've done my homework, and I know how much I should, should be giving him for how small he is, which ain't a whole lot, so a lot of that sweet potato is going to be going back home with us, but it'll be a nice little treat for him. Anyways, folks, I'm going to enjoy the dew. We'll talk to y'all here in a little bit. Once I get camp set up and everything else, I'll give you guys all the views and everything. It's time to enjoy the dew and a step three. I'll let you boy. You chewing on sticks though, Roscoe, huh? You chewing on sticks? Huh? You chewing on sticks? Hmm? What is a buddy? Oh, what is a buddy? Why is a buddy? You getting wet? Are you getting wet? Trying to capture him playing in the water. I called Mama Bear and Owl Hunter and told him what he was doing. I just haven't gotten it on film yet. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Don't get out. Don't get out. All right. Well, I'll leave you alone while Daddy fishes. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Where did you go? Where did you go? You just... You 
the boy. <laughs> oh, he's such a good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. All right, so there's tent. I got the front door and the back door open just so I got uh, circulation for the wind. Beautiful view out my door looking over the lake. The actual boat dock is right there. Right there. That's where we come in at. Right now I've got my chair and everything set up in the shade of that tree. Um, and there's a little couple rocks there, but I don't see the ground burnt no more. So it's been a while since someone's camped here. And most likely I'm gonna do my fire right there or I'll do it right there. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna set the fire up yet, but I still got a couple hours before it gets dark. So I don't need to worry about the fire pit right now. Little man's just running all over the place. He does that when we give him baths at home too. He runs around like a psychopath and he's gonna roll around and get all dirty like he did last time he went swimming. Um, either way, I'm going to sit out here in the sun and kind of dry off a little bit and then, uh, debate if I'm just going to put dry clothes on or if I'm just going to stay like this because I might want to take one more dunk before I start dinner. But either way, I'm going to call Mama Bear, relax for a couple minutes, and then, uh, we'll holler at you all shortly. Holler at your boy. What you doing, Roscoe? Are you having fun out here? Of course you are. You're having a good old time, aren't you, buddy? Huh. You having a good time, buddy? Oh, Roscoe. You're gonna steal my, all my audience from me just because how cute you are. Hmm. Aren't you? Look at you. Look at how cute he is. Oh, that pretty boy. That's a pretty boy. That's a pretty boy. What you doing, buddy? What you doing, huh? What you doing? Are you playing? Oh, 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 oh. you trying to jump up on me what are you doing you're getting me all wet well you want me out of the water all right all right we'll do this a little bit later you ready you ready come on She's swimming. Come on. There's the osprey nest. I can hear it up there caulking and stuff. I just can't see it. There's the nest. The camp is right there. 
There's camp. So I really gotta watch Roscoe. Make sure this thing don't come out of this tree and think it's dinner for his chicks. Even, I don't even know if that's time of year. The chicks might have already left the nest by this time too. Who knows? All right, we're gonna go back down here to camp. Probably need to get dinner going here real shortly. I'm gonna cook his first because I gotta boil up and make his sweet potato nice and soft. Roscoe, come on. All right. I wish I'd have had a camera when I tried to catch that fish or when I caught that fish, that, even though it was maybe that big. I mean, it was tiny, folks. I don't even know how I caught it on the Laura that I, I was using because the spinnerbait I'm using, it was half the size of the fish. So, but I got nothing on video to prove that I caught one. So I'm just going to say no fish yet. We're still zero to zero whiskey. Fishies one on this trip because I have no video of it. But if I wasn't counting by video, I've got whiskey one, fishies zero. Just no video evidence. All right, folks. I think I'm going to hang gather up some wood and uh, I'll break up my crate so we can get dinner going because I'm starting to get hungry.
So I'm warming up or boiling sweet potatoes for him. And then once it's all boiled and soft, I'll smash it up or cut them to smaller pieces or whatever and add it to his dog food with a little bit of water. And then myself, I got uh, beefaronis, two cans up for dinner is what I'm eating to, to dinner for dinner tonight. And then I also have some hot sauce to add to it. I add hot sauce to all my Chef Yard, the Chef Boar RD can goods. But beef ronies is my dinner. Sweet potatoes is his. I gotta get his dinner going first so when I eat mine, because mine only takes like five minutes to cook, he doesn't bother me for mine the whole time. So Rothko's food's done. I got dog food mixed in with uh, sweet potato. It's cooled down for him. I'm gonna go ahead and feed him, and then I gotta cook my dinner. Rothko, what you got here, buddy? Huh? What you got like it. That's a good boy. I only gave him about a quarter of the sweet potato. I don't have a way to measure it, so I just did a quarter because from the research I did, you can give too much sweet potato to a dog. So you gotta be, uh, it won't hurt them, it'll just make their stomach upset, right? If you give them too much. So I give them a quarter of a sweet potato, I'm gonna bring the rest home. I uh, boiled it until it was nice and soft, smashed it up, added some dog food, added a little bit of cold water to give it, um, to help cool it down. Checked it with my finger, it was good to go. And now he's gonna tear into it. And old dad here is gonna cook uh, beefaronis and eat some beefaronis for dinner. I might as well go ahead and get my dinner started right now. So, there we go. So, Diddy More Beef Stew is what I'm doing for dinner. <laughs> Sorry, beef aronis, not Diddy More Beef Stew. Beef aronis. I'm going to cook them in my smaller pan because I use my bigger pan to cook his sweet potato. I don't want to mix the foods. I got some oatmeal, or I'm sorry, hot chocolate, coffee. Here's my spoon. I just need the hot sauce out of there. We want two paint packs for one can. And if I get hungry later, I've got another can, which I probably will. I'm not going to cook both right now. I'll probably save one for later. But go ahead and add my hot sauce. And then some pepper. So I got pepper in there. Now I just need to add a little bit of salt, throw it on the twig stove, and get it all cooked up. Here's my salt. Pinch for that. Is it the left shoulder or the right shoulder you throw the salt over? So why don't we do both just in case? So we got some off the left, some over the right for good luck because I don't remember what shoulder you're supposed to do that over. Even if it matters. And I'm not going to Google it just for this video to make sure I do it right. So I just did both, right? And now I put that about a couple pieces of wood in the twig stove, like so. Put my food on the twig stove there. 
it won't take but a couple minutes for my stuff to cook. I mean, it's beefaroni, so all you gotta do is warm it up. I know some people would eat this cold, but I just, I can't do that. I'm not one of those people who can eat this stuff cold. Roscoe's already finished his, and now he just keeps his eyeball on me. I don't know how he can still be hungry. It's funny, too, when ants walk by him, he snips at them. Are you following the ant? Until it bites you, get it. Problem with this time of year, it hasn't cooled down enough. It's definitely not in the 90s no more. It's gotta be mid 80s right now and dropping. But it's still hot enough, it's hard to eat. I can normally eat a whole can of beefaronis like that and want more. But I'm having problems getting it down because I'm so hot. I really can't wait until the temp drops down tonight. I was gonna try to eat or wait to eat my dinner until it got dark. But I was just getting too daggone hungry. I couldn't wait no more. And it was for this reason here, because it's hard to eat. At least for me, when I'm hot, it's hard for me to eat. You saw, you, I don't know if you can see them in the frame, but you see how you got closer to me? Mm. Don't worry, I'll let you lick my pan clean when I'm done. I dumped some of that sauce on your food. Yeah, a little bit left of dry food in his bag for today's worth of food. So I just dumped it in a can. His pan. But I'm about to put some beefaroni sauce over top of it. Give him another little treat. You just better not have an accident inside my tent tonight. Hmm. Come on, buddy. Yeah, he's trying to fish. Oh, 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 oh. Hot one, on camera. Ah! Y'all seen that, right? Buddy, no luck. So far, no luck.
doing, Roscoe? All right, folks, so ain't a whole lot to show. Um, it's starting to get dark. The sun set below the trees. Roscoe and I, I've got ice changed into longer pants and tennis shoes and got my water Crocs off. Um, that way I'm staying dry the rest of the night and I can walk around without getting all the dirt on my feet. Roscoe ate dinner. He had his dog food mix, mixed in with... Uh, sweet potato and then he had a little, the rest of his little bag of dog food mixed with uh, my beefaroni juice um so he's ate good he's already took poop twice up in the woods which is great he's kind of following me around right now he's laying down curled up in a little ball right here next to me and we're just kind of watching the fire watching over the lake enjoying the view I think what I'm going to do real quick is I think I'm going to go live um, and do a quick live, maybe. Maybe. I, I ain't sure if I'm going to go live or not, but either way, I'm going to sit here and enjoy the fire and then uh, looking forward when it gets dark so we can show you all the stars because we should have a full sky of stars tonight and I got a great view of the sky from the camp here, so... I'm looking forward to that. Until then, we'll talk to you guys once it gets dark. How is your boy? Well, folks, it is officially dark. Oh, we got a cloud full of stars, which I'm going to show you all here in just a moment. Um, Everybody that joined the live that I uh, did out here, greatly appreciate you joining. Uh, Mark K, um, our last premiere, you gave us a donation. Um, during that premiere, I want to give you a special shout out and say thank you very much um, for going above and beyond and giving us a donation there, brother. Uh, you've been following and supporting my YouTube channel for a long time now, and um, I greatly appreciate the support, brother, and again, appreciate that uh, little donation you gave us on that last premiere, man. I'm glad you enjoyed the videos, brother. Um, all of our uh, Patreon members and our uh, channel members, your names are called below in the descriptions, as always. So, uh, appreciate that above, uh, above and beyond support you uh, show on a uh, monthly basis. Greatly appreciate that, everybody. Um, but it's dark, so me and Roscoe, it's technically, it's 10 o'clock now, so we've met Owl Hunter's rule of staying up until at least 10 o'clock. I'm not really tired yet. I think I'm gonna stay out here by the fire at least another 20, 30, maybe another hour. But I'm gonna jump off the video with y'all for the night. Um, and I'm gonna end the evening looking at the fire and looking at some stars for y'all. Um, Hope you all enjoy, and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning for coffee when I wake up. I know I'll be getting up early to uh, talk to my daughters while they're uh, while Mama Bear is taking them to school. And then once she drops them off, she's going to start heading this way. And I'm roughly 45 minutes and an hour drive from the schoolhouse to the boat ramp. So they're going to call me around eight, and Mama Bear should be here probably around 9.30 ish time she drops the kids off and head this way 9.30, 10 o'clock so we'll be getting up early tomorrow appreciate everybody watching we'll see you guys tomorrow morning holler at your boy
I just got the fire going to take the chill out there this morning, but I'm not going to add any more to it because I got to make sure that's good and out within the next two hours, basically. So two and a half, three hours, something like that. Either way, I'm going to sit here and let my coffee cool off, enjoy my coffee, enjoy the sunrise, which is happening directly behind the camera. Just come up over the trees and come right up the top of it. All right, folks, so tent was right there. Only thing that's not loaded in the boat is my tripod and charger and my uh, uh, life, or that. <laughs> um, fire's out. That's ice you're seeing in the fire. Site's all cleaned up. You can see I delimbed that tree. Roscoe. Roscoe. Oh, he's right there. Either way, um, you got ice on it. That's what that what's, what you're seeing right here, here, and here. I doused it with cooler water and a bunch of pans of water from the lake. So final thoughts. Uh, first time camping in this particular location. It's a good spot. Great views of the lake, easy access to the water to swim or fish or get in and out with the boat. So I had a good time out here. Roscoe did an excellent job. Uh, he never left camp, he stayed by my side. Once it got dark, he climbed up on my lap. So overall, I'm happy with the trip. Other than I did not get any sleep last night, but that has nothing to do with the camping trip. It's just, I'm weird, I guess, and it happens from time to time. Um, our Patreon members and our channel members, your names are called out below the description. Mark K, appreciate that uh, donation you gave us on that uh, last premiere we did. Um, between you, the uh, Patreon, and the channel members, you guys make it possible for me to continue to do what I do. Um, I know it's not a lot, but it, it goes in a gas tank and helps Mama Bear get me where I need to go, where it buys my dues or stuff like that. So I greatly appreciate all that support. Um, I believe, and don't quote me on it, but I think my next episode is going to be a stealth camp. I got a spot that I've been checking out that I'm going to go attempt a stealth camp at probably Tuesday night. Um, if it's not, then we'll be back in this lake. If, if, if the next video after this one is not a stealth camp, it'll be back at this lake when I bring Sydney and Ethan out here because they want to do a, a camp, basically. Like, basically the last camp of the, of the year, even though school starts today. I was sick, so I couldn't get them out here. So I promised I'd take them out over the holiday weekend. So I'm going to bring them out here. So if it ain't a stealth video, the next thing you all see, we'll be back out here just in a different spot um, so they can fish, swim, and all that good stuff. Appreciate everybody's support and watching. Um, be sure to hit the uh, thumbs up button down below. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought about this campsite. And hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, you're at the very end of the video. You're like down to the last 30 seconds. So you might as well smack that subscribe button. Help me out. It's a free way to help the channel. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Everybody, holler at your boy. I'm getting in the water and rowing my butt out of here. See you all on the next one, folks. Peace.